Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wish 101 video. Today, I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. I've been doing, uh, I mean, it's still an opinion piece. I don't know what I was saying there. Uh, I was gonna say I'm doing something a little bit different because I've only been doing opinion pieces for the last few days. But you know what? I'm gonna do it again. Uh, I, I don't care. You know what? You guys love them. You seem to love them. Uh, a lot of people are watching them. And you know what? Thank you all for that. I really do appreciate that. You guys have been, uh, eating up my last few videos. So, uh, A+. Plus. You guys are doing great. I like that. Uh, today, we're gonna go uh, a little bit off of the King's Isle feature thing, though, because uh, I'm kind of running out of features to talk about. Uh, and we're going to the actual game itself, and what worlds I think actually need to be updated the most. Now, the reason why I'm going for this is, uh, well, first off, they're updating Krakatopia soon. They've already updated Wizard City. And someone in my comments said, I really wish that they would uh, redo all of Arc 1. So let me go into my opinion on that and all that stuff. So let's go into what worlds need to be updated the most. So first off, let me say, I really don't think Marleybone and Mushu need that much of an update. Maybe they might need a little bit of a graphical tweak. Especially uh, Mushu, I think it could use with like a background update. Like, I I'm actually not going to go to it because it it'll take a while to get there. But specifically in the streets, the sides are just like 2D bamboo. And it's so ridiculously obvious that it's 2D bamboo that it's kind of distracting. So I would like that. But let's... uh. Let, let's go into the first world that needs an update, and, and it's Dragonspire. I mean, you could probably just see, like, you can just look at it. Dragonspire really is really, really outdated. Like, um, I think, I don't know if they necessarily rushed the textures when they were putting out the world, but I, I don't think that's the case. I think it's more just the fact that this world came out back in, what, 2008 or something? And back then, I mean, you've seen the Wizard City graphics. It's the Wizard City graphics, except rather than a brighter and vibrant theme, it is a dull and dark theme. So it's even more noticeable that it's kind of ugly in a few places. Now, I'd like to say I really like the architecture. I think that the architecture is done extremely well, and it honestly doesn't even look that bad in terms of the update. What I think needs to be updated the most is the lava and the uh what's it called textures what are those like the like the burnt ground the ground textures is what i'm going for i think that those need to be updated more than really anything because uh you can kind of see it just looks stale and outdated like that doesn't even look like lava right there in my in my eyes um and the ground itself just kind of looks ugly and i really wish that it had a more higher res update and i think that no area exemplifies this more to me than uh than the necropolis where's the necropolis over here i've always thought that the necropolis just looks really ugly like i like this and i like the look of this right but then you also have areas uh over here where you have just the the ugly ground the coffin i'm trying to specifically look for it like like this no not this where is it ah okay it's over here is what i'm looking for i was looking for uh the lava river thing over here which is in my opinion one of the ugliest areas in this game it just looks disgusting also these spike things need a higher texture res because that that just looks gross yeah over here like you can kind of just see in my opinion it just doesn't really look good I mean, maybe you guys disagree with me, but I just think it looks ugly, you know? And I think that this world needs an update more than the rest of them, by a significant degree. Uh, so let that, you know what? That's my first one. But my first one, Dragonspire, needs a graphical update. Now let's talk about my next one, which is Grizzleheim, which this one might be a bit more controversial. Uh, Grizzleheim, in my opinion, is one of my least favorite worlds in this game, and there is a big reason for that, is that it is actually kind of difficult in a few places and is exceedingly long for literally zero xp like it, it's actually hilarious so right to get into raven scar you need to be level 40 at level 40 what xp are you expecting to get right maybe in the 3000s something like that like in dragon spire right like 600 for talking quests well guess what in raven scar you're getting 600 for boss quests 
and maybe like two, 100, 200 for walking quests. That's a little bit ridiculous. Now, I understand that it's a side world, so that they want to keep the XP a little bit lower, but that low is frankly ridiculous. And then you compare that with Winter Tusk, which you can unlock directly after. You can unlock Winter Tusk at level 40, just so you know. The XP in Winter Tusk is ridiculous, right? A walking quest is 1,000, and a boss quest is anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000, which is just ridiculous. That's more than, honestly, that's as much as Zafaria gives, and you're getting it at 20, 30 levels lower, potentially, which is just frankly ridiculous. So what I say is they, I mean, honestly, they probably need to do both, but I would say lower the Winter Tusk XP and then raise the Grizzleheim XP. Now, I'm not saying murder the Winter Tusk XP. King's Isle, if you ever did that, I would probably cry, but I'm saying like slightly lower, like a walking quest shouldn't get, like it should be Celestia level XP is what I'm saying. So the boss quests are anywhere from uh 4000 to 6000 xp rather than 5 to 10000 is what i'm saying um i think that that would be much more balanced and then grizzleheim needs to raise its xp like even the level 20 xp in um in savage pass is still low like i think the savage pass xp uh should be almost doubled honestly if they just doubled all the xp values in grizzleheim that'd be pretty good and, and you'd maybe even you wouldn't even gain like an extra level like i don't know if they realize that like um at the current xp value i don't even think you gain a level in grizzleheim so there's that i think that grizzleheim really is the most egregious world it needs it needs that the most um now this is discounting the fact that i think raven scar is too long still I do think that Raven Scar could use with a rework, but I think that if they upped the XP, I would feel much less uh, in pain about it. So there's that. And now we're going to go into the two final worlds, in my opinion, that really need a change. And that is Azteca and Chrysalis, which you guys probably saw this coming. Um, Azteca, in my opinion, needs one change and one change only. Um, okay, maybe two changes. But one biggest change that it needs is to remove a section of quests. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this, but there is a like 40 quest long section in between when you finish Salt Meadow Swamp and go to Zoltan Dock, which is just ridiculous. It doesn't need to be there. All it is is like side exposition, like you're building the boat to get to Zoltan Dock, and it is frankly disgusting like it takes over an hour and it adds like a big section of the world that doesn't need to be there if they just removed this one section i think azteca would flow significantly better and people wouldn't hate it maybe not nearly as much but they wouldn't hate it as much right so there's that and then the second thing i'd recommend adding and this is the biggest thing for me is um or not the biggest thing but it's one of the biggest things for me is you might know this, Azteca has a significant amount of bosses that have hidden dual mastery. What this means is, is that there are, say, death bosses that have full mastery of storm and have storm spells. So they'll use storm owl on you, crit, and kill you, right? All that stuff. Now there's a really easy way to fix this, and that is just add a dual typing to them. We've seen it in Polaris through Imperia now, uh, and in Caramel, sorry, I forgot that that world existed. Um, and I think that it would be really easy, like, they don't even need to change anything about them. Don't change their stats. Literally, just add that symbol next to their name so people aren't as off-put and surprised when a death boss uses Storm Owl on them. You know what I'm saying? So I think that Azteca, if you just made those two changes, would be a lot better and a lot more, uh, a lot better for newer players, especially. Finally, we're getting into the last world, which is Chrysalis. Now... This one for me is purely, purely is part one. Now, I think the problem is, for me at least, is that part one has a massive amount of quests that really, really don't need to be there. Like, they could just cut it down a little bit and it'd be good. I think my main problem with Chrysalis is the fact that the world has 299 quests, which by the way, if you don't know is like 
three or four Arc 1 worlds put together. Uh, that's longer than any other- it's longer than any other world in this game. Uh, Azteca has 190, I believe, or 200 something? I don't know. Whatever. But, my point is, is that Azteca- or Crystal has way too many quests in it that really just make it boring. And I think that the biggest problem is, is part one. Part two definitely has a lot of quests as well, but the areas are much shorter. The, the longest area is honestly the Hive, and the Hive isn't even really that bad anymore when you do it. I did it recently, it wasn't too bad. I think the worst part is probably Tyrion Gorge, Last Wood, Moon Cliffs, one of those. They just have too many quests, and too many quests that are a little bit uh, annoying. Like, whether it be because they're collect quests that has a low collect chance, something like that. Overall, I just think that part one should be cut down, and that's really all I, all I have to say about Chrysalis. That part one should be cut down. Um, <clears throat> now, if you're wondering, like, uh, if you're like Noah, why why do you think this? Whatever, um, you guys might not remember me for this. I'm probably not even remembered for this anymore. But uh, I was balanced Let's Play series guy. You know that that was me back in the day. That was I, I made a bunch of episodes on that. And episodes like from episode 80 to episode 105, which so that's about 25% of my Let's Play series, I was in Chrysalis. So a quarter of my Let's Play series, I was in a single world out of the 13 that I would that I had done in the past. So you think like one out of 14 worlds, it would be somewhere in one out of 14 of the time, maybe a little bit more, maybe one out of 10, something like that. No, it was one out of four. Of the let's play series was in chrysalis and honestly that that's what killed my motivation for it I'll, I'll be completely honest with you that killed my motivation for it um i might come back in the future probably will come back in the future but right now i, I still have no interest in it so whatever but really uh that's it for today i'm sorry uh if this isn't what you wanted for a video but that's okay you know you subscribe to hear me uh, to hear me talk about things so hopefully you don't mind hearing me talk about things, you know? So that's it for today. Uh, thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Adios.